the more traditional sewing machine, it's a budget range machine. Um, it's the Janome 2032. Now there are very similar models to this currently available in um, the big craft shops, shall we say, um, across England. Um, and they're normally anywhere between about 75 and 90 pounds. Um, it's the perfect machine really for someone who's just getting started um, with their sewing. It doesn't have any fancy knobs and buttons but it does all your basic stitches for you. It does a buttonhole um, and it works perfectly fine. We actually use these models um, as our teaching machines for the first two years of business um, and they're absolutely perfectly okay. But they do thread slightly differently because they're more traditional so they don't have the little window in the top here. All of your bobbins are popped in here. So this is the part that normally scares most people. It takes them back to when they did textiles at school and they remembered having to try to thread their sewing machine and it all went horribly wrong. So I'm gonna show you a nice easy way to thread it. So go and make yourself a cup of tea, sit down with your sewing machine and we'll thread it together. So you're gonna start by lifting up your spool pin on the top of your machine and you're going to pop your thread on the spool pin. You want to take your thread around this little silver button here, it goes through the groove and it sits there nicely. Then you're going to take your bobbin and you're going to take your thread through the side of your bobbin and up out of one of those little holes in the top of it so that your thread sits like this. And then pop your bobbin on your winder. Now you need to tell the machine that you want to thread a bobbin up so you do that by pushing it to the right. What you also need to do on these more older machines is you need to tell the machine that when you put your foot on the pedal you don't want the needle to go up and down. So you do that by taking hold of the hand wheel and pulling it to the right. You should hear a nice click. Once that's done, that locks off the needle mechanism. Now you want to put your thread, wrap it around your finger a couple of times and hold it nice and tightly. You're going to put your foot on the pedal just gently for a little bit and spin up a little bit of your bobbin and then you're going to snip it flush with the top. Now one of the things I do find with these machines is when you put your foot on the pedal as hard as you can this thread gets really overexcited and it jumps up and down and then it flies off the top of the machine like a lemming. So what I tend to do is put my hand just above the thread and I don't touch it but it just means that the thread can jump up and down and hit my hand and it's not going to fly off the machine. But it does mean I can put my foot to the floor and fill the bobbin up which is what I'm going to do now. You can see it getting all over excited. going to stop for a moment so you can hear me. What you must bear in mind is once this bobbin is full it will touch this piece of plastic here and it will stop spinning round but it will keep making I'm spinning a bobbin noises so if you're staring out of the window not watching what's happening your machine can burn out so do make sure that you're watching this as you fill. <laughs> come to a stop but as you heard it was still making noise. So we're just going to snip the thread and then we need to reverse the process so that we're ready to start sewing. So we're going to push the hand wheel in to unlock the needle mechanism and push the bobbin to the left so that we can take it off and thread it later on. So now we're going to thread the sewing machine and we're going to start with the top thread we're going to take our thread and we're going to go behind the hook on the top of the machine. There is a number one at the top there that will take you down. Come down the channel, you can see the number two here, takes you round and up. The number three takes you behind the take-up lever here and pull it down. If for any reason this take-up lever isn't up here when you're ready to thread the sewing machine, simply turn the hand wheel towards you until it pops up. So now you're going to take the thread down the groove, then it sits behind the little hook at the top of the needle here which keeps it nice and taut and then you're going to thread your needle. Now as you can see there isn't much gap between the needle, the eye of the needle and this presser foot. So what I find tends to help is that I lower my presser foot down so that I can thread my needle. 
But what you mustn't do is lower your presser foot down until you've threaded all these threads through. Because what lowering the presser foot actually does is closes the tension discs on the inside of the machine and it clamps them around your thread. So if you're trying to thread your sewing machine while they are closed, the threads aren't going to go in where they're supposed to. So it's fine to lower it once you've threaded it through the guides, but if you try and thread it through the guides when it's already lowered, it won't work very well. The other top trick is to give your thread a little snip, and it's not particularly hygienic, but give it a little lick. And you should be able to thread it through the eye of the needle. Once you've got hold of it, you can then lift your presser foot back up and pop the thread through the groove in the middle of the presser foot and out the back of the machine. So that's the top thread on our machine threaded and as you can see it makes like a capital N shape. Now we're going to thread the bobbin. So to thread the bobbin you're going to release this little lever here on the bobbin case. Get hold of it and take it out. Now if you look closely you'll see there's a little cutout just here in the bobbin housing and if you always remember that that's where this sticky uppy bit of the bobbin case is going to go. Now it is really important that you use this lever to take your bobbin case in and out and the reason for that is this is actually the locking mechanism. So if you watch me try to put this in now, not holding the lever, you'll see I can't push it all the way back and it just spins around in the bobbin case. If I put it in holding the lever though, it allows me to push it all the way back and when I let go, it is locked into the housing. So always make sure that you use the lever to take your bobbin case in and out. So we're going to pop our bobbin into our bobbin case now. So we're going to just drop it in. Now what you want to look for is this little cut on the outside edge of your bobbin case going to take the thread and pop it into that little cut. Now there's nothing to stop your bobbin falling out of your case at this point so I tend to hold it with my finger just to keep it in because then you're going to want to take your thread down this little arch here on the side of your bobbin case and just give it a little tug and you'll hear a little click and it should pop into this hole here. Now in an ideal world if you're careful if you hold on to your bobbin you know the tension's right on your bobbin if it doesn't just go zoop and drop out. But obviously there is nothing stopping this bobbin itself falling out of the case. So once your bobbin is threaded and the thread's coming out of the hole on the top, you're going to take it by the lever and post it into your bobbin housing. Now I'm right-handed, but for some reason this is the one thing I always do left-handed. I find it much easier to be able to see what I'm doing. So my thread's coming out the right hand side of this little sticky uppy bit. It's locked in and it's not going anywhere. But what we need to do now is to get this thread to come up through the bottom of our machine. And this is the bit that you always got stuck with at school. But it really is easy. You're gonna take hold of the top thread and we're gonna turn the hand wheel towards us. As we do, what will happen is the needle will go down, it will take the thread down here you'll see the thread come down and it will come across the bobbin and it will tickle this thread. And when you see that happen, you give a gentle tug on this top thread. So I'll do it for you now. So I turn the hand wheel towards me, I keep turning. I keep turning, here comes that thread. It's gonna come across the bobbin, it's gonna catch hold of that thread and I'm gonna keep turning, but a little gentle tug at the same time. And you can see it's brought a little loop of thread up. And if you get hold of that little loop of thread with your scissors, you can then pull the thread through. And you now have both your threads at the top of your machine. So you simply put them out the back, close the little trap door, and put your base plate back on. And you're now ready to sew. If you like to stop and smell the black, 